Hello, my name is Brian Elmore, and I'm the host of the King James Bible Survival School. Hey, you know what? This morning I want to start out by saying hi to a few friends of mine. I want to say hey to uh, Kim and Carla and uh, her husband over there, and they live in Thibodeau. And um, once again, guys, y'all come on out. We'll do some test drives, we'll do some fishing, and that'll be pretty cool. Hey, I want to also say hi to Aaron uh, Kessner. Man, congratulations, Aaron. Uh, he just got on the uh, Hobie fishing team. Picked up his new Hobie kayak a couple days ago, and man, he's well on his way, man. Good job. Good job, uh, Aaron. Good job. But anyway, uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is because several people had asked me about my new canoe and uh, how I got it hooked up and uh, what my features are and why I like it, you know, etc. blah, blah, blah. So uh, let's just get right into it, okay? I'm going to get the camera set up, and then, uh, well, I'll be right back in a minute. Well, hey, we're back, and this is my third or fourth time trying to do this. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the, uh, the Bible says that um, Satan come immediately and take it away the word. Uh, <laughs> see, on this little street that I live on, you can't get a car to pass up and down through here when I'm not on this camera. But once I get on this camera, <laughs> that car comes buzzing through 18-wheelers, trucks, and motorcycles, and dogs barking, and airplanes flying by. <laughs> so anyway uh we're just gonna have to tootle mountain ignore them uh i'm gonna try to do some editing on that if i can if i can't well who oh will but uh, i'm gonna start with the first thing is is uh on the front it has uh it has little handles like this on both in the front and the back it actually comes with a um a little piece that you plug into the back so you can tow the dolly you can just like a little tow dolly with it uh, i put those little figure nines on it because that's pretty cool this uh the whole front end of this thing is pretty stable. Uh, you can actually stand right up here where my finger is uh, pointing right on the top of this bow. And you can actually stand there and fish. Uh, it's pretty stable. The uh, It has a little compartment here uh, that's waterproof. You just, uh, you can put a lunch in it or whatnot. You can pull this out and all that underneath the storage underneath there. Um, I have uh, some tents and tarps and things that, that I put underneath my kayak so that way if I'm out and it gets starting to rain or whatnot, uh, it's just stuff that I put underneath there and keep underneath there. Uh, that way uh, I'm not stranded out in the marsh. Uh, there's another thing we're going to get into today is about uh, preparedness. Uh, the Bible says to be prepared. So, uh, but it means also in this kayak too, because when we get out in the marsh and we get to fishing and something happens, uh, you'll wish you had a fire starter. You wish you had fire when night sets on you, <laughs> especially if you're stranded out there. So anyway, uh, you can see how they come with these little, um, they don't come with this, by the way. Every piece of this thing is extra, but, um, but they make little places where you can put on a little mount for fishing rod. And, and what I did is I added in these little footstools, these little pieces here and uh, there. What that does is that controls my, my, uh, my trolling motor in the back so that way i can fish with the steer with my feet i can go forwards and backwards and a little it's just a little nicer especially if you're in the marsh and you got to back up a lot to get around a few things and um, then they have these little slide pins right here that uh that's how you fasten things down these little pins here and uh then they have uh this is the casting bar right here which is pretty handy your seats mount in right here they both swivel uh, so they make a duck blind that goes around this as well. Um, the, uh, it's good for hunting and fishing and, and whatnot. But this is a pretty cool thing. I think everybody needs one of these right here. Inside of this, uh, what I do is uh, I have a fishing string wrapped around the outside of it and also have um, extra lures and weights and, and a couple bobbers in there. I got some artificial weight. I got a fire starter. I got a um, suntan lotion. Um, you know, a lot of people say that I'm a little paranoid, but I'm going to show you something that happened to me. Uh, you see this right here? This right here is an actual big gash. There's a divot that's inside of there. I know you can't probably see it, but I can feel it. Uh, and what happened was is I had gone around and I had hit something. I must have been turning 
I don't know. I don't remember hitting it, but uh, but whatever it was, uh, they, well, it may have come in right in through there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but they got like some scratches right through here, a big, big piece. And I think what it did was when I turned, I went through, and it put a big old gash in between this, but. Right here, I mean, that's a pretty big divot. If it had caught this plastic like it did this, I would have been stuck out there in the marsh. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with y'all because um, that's a really big, I mean, safety first. Um, that's, that's our biggest, my biggest concern is my safety. Is, uh, you know, it's no fun to be stuck in the marsh <laughs> at any time, the, the day or night. Uh, and it's really not fun. It's downright out miserable. You've seen those survivor mans where they're out in the marshes in the deserts and the mosquitoes are eating their tails up. Well, that's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, so anyway, back to the trolling motor business. You see, I have these two cables that are hooked up on it. And what it does is, is when you're in the front and you're, and, you're, and you're fishing, you're steering with your feet. You push on the left one to go left. You push on the right one to go right. You can put it in reverse. You can back up. You can pull it backwards, what have you. Uh, I got a battery box that's mounted in uh, with the strap so it don't come out. Everything you want, you want to have it strapped down so that way it cannot come out and it uh, 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 it can't come out. And if you flip upside down, it won't you won't lose it. So even the even the firearm is is connected to the little battery box. So I mean, every little piece in your kayak should be mounted down. Uh, this little this little solar panel I got from. Uh, from Academy, it goes on those little deer stands to keep up the battery. It doesn't like keep it up full 100%, but it does help out as the day goes by because it hooks directly into the in, into the trolling motor. So as the days go by, uh, when I get down to the just about nightfall, uh, sometimes I might have to pedal back, but it's it but it helps out a lot because. Uh, you still got that motor turning uh, as long as that daylight's out <laughs> motor turning so but i do have a battery in here uh it's a little um, deep cycle pro battery um so but that's about that in a nutshell in my kayak well uh a couple other cool little features is i still have it connected to the, the little dolly that i've got down here this is a little uh this is a little piece and what i've done with my dolly is uh i got a little milk crate and uh, I put some, uh, I put a little styrofoam pieces on the front of it. I took a little axle, a little threaded, I think it was what, a half inch or something like that. And, and got a couple bolts and bought some wheels at Lowe's over there. But you can see uh, what it does is it just uh, sits on top of this thing and it helps me pick it up and move it around the yard. It's a real expensive uh, dolly. They come with a dolly, but it hooks onto the back end and uh and it's just not feasible if you've got your if you got your trolling motor hooked up to it so uh so as you can see there's all kind of little scratches and everything on it and you'll probably have to eventually buy you a, a plastic welder or just cruise by the house if you live locally just cruise by the house let us know i got one and we'll we'll zip it right up for you um let me see what else is cool that's a self bailing boat you don't have to worry about uh that's what these are for back here. It's a self bailing boat. Uh, this little holes right here. They uh, have some little stoppers that go in there. Um, well, let me get this one untangled. And what happens is, that's my little extra bobber in case I lose one. Uh, so um, it just goes in and fastens down like that. If it starts raining, you pull those out and you, you know you self bails your boat. There's uh, obviously little coke holders. Uh, but this is the most important piece right here. And this also floats. So I put some styrofoam in it to make it float. And uh, it'll actually float. Uh, so, but the main thing is, is uh, don't latch it down. See what I mean? <laughs> See what I mean? It just gets so loud around here. Uh, so, but don't latch it down because this is the most important part. Uh, because once again, I mean, fire doesn't fire does a lot of stuff uh, at nighttime. So anyway, especially when you get hungry, uh, it's the difference between eating raw redfish or cooked redfish. <laughs> 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 so.
so anyway this is my kayak oh well, another little thing i wanted to share with you too is uh this is something that i did I, most people do it a little differently i don't know but uh this little piece here this is my little push pole uh, it's this little homemade little push pole uh it's about 10 foot long i go fishing in kind of deep water um about 10 foot in some sections but uh but what I did was this is uh, I put some dollies on here and uh, what this does is this little, it's a trolley system and what it does is it allows the pivot point from the from where the anchor is stopped so if I took the anchor and I put it down inside the hole here or I put my regular anchor then it'll allow my boat to pivot in one direction or another so I could have my boat straight like this or I could put it in with the current I could have it pivoted here and uh and also we have the chain that we tie on to uh around the inner tube and we'll throw that on there and that'll kind of let us drift down the current uh, as we go but you notice i have two different parts of it uh because i wanted it to be in two different angles um uh, so that way when i'm fishing forwards or backwards it doesn't matter how i do it or which way i do it but anyway that's a new canoe and um that's that in a nutshell. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, God bless y'all. Y'all um, hook up with me somehow. If y'all are out of town and want to go fishing, um, I've got a couple extra kayaks. And uh, if you want to, if you're local and you want to go fishing, then, um, you know, we can, that's possible too. But I want to tell y'all, I don't drink, I don't smoke. And there ain't no drinking and smoking on my property, uh, nor in my boots. So, um, with that said, y'all have a good day and, and God bless y'all. Well, all right, man. A lot of people wanted to know uh, what this thing would actually do uh, in the water. So uh, here goes nothing. Uh, it kind of lets you know what's up. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Don't follow me, I'm lost too, yeah? <laughs>
Well, it's been fun, but uh, it's back to fishing. <laughs> As you can see, uh, I decided to do a little fishing today. Uh, so instead of doing this right outside the house, I decided to come out to one of my favorite little fishing spots uh, and see what was up. So uh, anyway, bye y'all. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Ahoy there. <laughs> Yeah, I bet y'all thought, uh, I bet y'all thought I got excited and forgot the camera again, huh? <laughs> well, hey, that didn't put it past me. <laughs> Get back up over and grab my camera right quick. I gotta have that piece, that's for sure. Well, all right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. God bless y'all. My name is Brian Elmore, and I'm your host of the King James Bible Survival School, man. Later.